Okay, so um, another little unboxing today. Uh, this will be very, very uh, Paradox Life themed. Uh, and these two boxes I got from two different proxy services. Uh, so hence why there's two, you know, it's both like Japanese boxes. Uh, miraculously, both of them arrived today, despite uh, the company telling me, oh, one of them, this one was supposed to arrive on Monday and this one was supposed to arrive on Tuesday. But today's Sunday, they're here and I'm pretty excited to get to them. And I already opened them partially just because I don't want to uh, video edit my address out. Uh, but other than that, um, let's not waste time. And here's the first box. It should have actually a merch, which I believe, uh, and I might be wrong about that. I believe this is by the person, uh, basically, uh, by someone, like, a, by a fan. So that's not, like, an official merch. And this is all Paradox Life. So let's take a look at what's inside. And there we have them. They include that. Oh yeah, and this box is uh, so the reason I this is from a different proxy service is because the one I usually use doesn't work with the seller for some reason. But um let me grab my scissors. Uh another one worked and I just wanted the item badly now that I was willing to take some risks I guess. Guess you can call it a risk. Um so let's see what we've got here. And let's hope uh, the risk I took wasn't a bad idea. So these are the little plushies and I guess this is how the seller wrapped them up originally. And let's start with this one, which just happened to be the first one I had in my hands. And voila! So this is a little bonus from the seller, uh, which we said, like, if you pre-order, you get a little plushie. This, I guess, is the little card, which I wonder if it really is, like a fan doing those, or if it's some official source, I have no idea. The plushies just seem very good, and um, I was like, yes, let me order them. I don't have enough Paradox Life plushies in my life. But yeah, this is uh, kind of the Naotas, um It's kind of like the art they released at the start of Road to Legend. Um, this is a more exciting little thing, so for everyone who ordered the plushies, there was a little, little extra um charm attached so that's how we know it's a nayuta in there <laughs> uh it's not in there because otherwise uh like you can't tell because it just says cosmos but i guess the first plush i picked is nayuta and this is a very little oh it's double-sided that's nice oh and i guess it's not just double-sided but you also have a little uh standee so you can use it as an acrylic stand instead of uh, a keychain. This is very cute. I'll probably use it as a standee, since I already have some Paralife chibi ones. And here he is! Look at him! And I really like the... So it's it's called Balloon Warm Star, so maybe it is semi-official? Actually, it's really hard to tell, but uh, regardless, this is so cute. Um, and I really like that it's like actually has a packaging. It's not just, you know, some random little thing. Um, so there he is. He is so tiny. He is so cute. Uh, it has a little tag here. So I guess it is licensed merch because it does have a Avex production on it. So, uh, but I'm pretty glad, uh, pretty happy about this because, uh, for an official little plush, it wasn't all that expensive, especially considering there was a charm included with it. And yeah, I don't think this opens up. Hmm. But yeah, this is Nayuta, and he's technically a keychain, but um, 
And I do remember from like the promo videos or like from more like the promo pictures that some of the jackets were removable. And you can tell that this is like an actual jacket on the plushie and not just like one detail because you can put it, your finger like that under it. But I'm not sure how you would take it off if it is takeable off. So I will just keep it on and enjoy the little cutie. So cute. Oh, there is like an earring too. His earring, although I mean it's not really black and very chill, but I guess that's how they do it to make it stand out. So yeah, this is Naito. And this is Naito from the back. Okay, so with Naito out of the way, and it does have Paradox Life icon in the back. Um let's get to another one. And and open up and let's see who it is. So the dog's life. And I can already see that this is the odd one in here because it's Bay. So this is Bay's Road to Legend Art and well, as we all know it by this point, uh, Bay won Paradox Life. Um, in a pretty heated battle against Cosmos, so I guess it's fitting. Uh, but you might try to take a hard guess at what character from Bay I would order, uh, considering I already told you that I wouldn't know who, which character it would be. Um, if Cosmos were not like in the picture. And I can actually say, see my name in there, so let me take the tag off. So, um, but yeah, which Bay character is the closest to Cosmos? Of course, it's Ellen. Ellen. He is looking very serious. So let's take a look at the plushie first, and like with Nayuta. So, again, the packaging is the same, so it's not really like per character stylized. But here is Alan. Here is Alan. And I am pretty sure, yeah, like I said, like for those plushies, uh, like the person like selling them was showing the uh, that these are indeed like have some removable elements, some of them. So um, this is Alan. And again, this is the same tag here. Which now, now I'm really not sure if it's that it's not official. But you can take. Alan's little jacket off. I can give it to Nayuta, probably. <laughs> Maybe. And I do really like the detail that his hood is actually like a separate detail. Uh, even though like this is just colored. So like the rest of the clothing aside from the jacket is colored. But uh, but yeah, he is indeed a very serious guy. <laughs> this looks like a little phoenix feather, which I guess is very fitting for Alan. And let's put his little jacket on. And this one is very easy, so like unlike Nayuta's, which maybe it is removable indeed for Nayuta, but for Nayuta it will be hard because Nayuta's doesn't have like an opening. But yeah, so Alan is here. And let's put him with Nayuta and get to the last one. Which oh yeah, before we get to the last one, uh, I showed you the card, but the little acrylic keychain slash pin. And let's take a look at it. And I mean, they are like very plushy stylized, so uh, they do look very much like the plushies. So let me show you this one. So just like Nayuta, and like just to show you like how similar they are. So it's like Alan and Mini Alan. I would imagine, like, if it was indeed manufactured by someone, like, uh, they just used the art uh, they had for telling the manufacturer on how to make the plush. So, yep, very close. These are very similar. Um, but yeah, and now for the last one from this batch is... Ta -da -da! And yeah, it's, he's the only one, ironically, that I took out and decided that you can immediately tell who it is. And let's proceed to free him from at least some of them wraps here. And 
Damn, I really like the packaging. Like, I don't, I'm still not sure if it's official or not because I haven't really seen like an official store mentioning the splashes. Um, but just like Nayuta, he comes with a little Cosmos postcard, which uh, probably due to the packaging, like it got damaged somewhere a little bit. Which I mean, it's it's fine. I can probably still use it. I actually wonder if it's a postcard or if it's a sticker. Let me see. Let's actually check out Kanata's. See what this one is. Okay, so it actually does feel like a sticker, actually, not just a postcard. And I wonder if my hint hunch here is correct. And what it is? Yeah, it really does feel like like the surface feels like a sticker. Um, if you know what I mean, like how the stickers feel like. Yeah, I wonder if it really is. It really is a sticker. No, oh, I like how it's like... Oh, well, that's not really... Like like I said, this art is just from the Road to Legend, but it says the strongest twins. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am not still not sure if it's a sticker or not. Something makes me think it is. Um, well, I will torture the sticker behind the screen some more later, but it's the same as Nayuta. Now, for the Kanata himself, and yeah, um, I didn't mention the detail earlier, but as you can see, there's like a heart-shaped, like, this is heart-shaped, so when you look at it from the side, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's almost like this is from this Paradox Love game, they have been promising to us for like, Three years in a row at this point. Like, you know how every 1st of April they come out with this new trailer for Paradox Love and then they never deliver? Yeah. This is probably Paradox Love uh, merch, not Paradox Life merch. Um, so, and there is Kanata. Kanata is probably one of my favorite characters in Paradox Life. And I am excited and terrified about uh, because love episode is coming up, and well, who knows? Uh, those people know, but love is a very hefty. Well, to be fair, this video is probably not gonna be uploaded before love, but yeah, I'm gonna suffer through some pain. Save him next to Mayuta. Just look at them. Look at how precious they are. I think they're absolutely precious. And I like the... Actually, I kind of like the size. And now it makes me wonder if it's actually the same series as another one. Let me actually quickly bring him here. Because I think this might be... So remember how I mentioned that I'm not sure if they are official or not? And um, yeah, indeed, the official one is a little bigger, but I have this official Game Yama plushie. And if you're an anime only, uh, this is one of the second season units. So he's not in the anime at all, um, but he's one of my like favorite characters, especially character design wise. So if we compare to the official plushie, these are definitely a little smaller. Uh, and the color of the eyes is different. I mean, obviously, it can be just a different series of the official plush, but I thought it would be an interesting comparison against this. Because I thought this is tiny, but this is even tinier. But actually, like, an interesting fact, but I think this one is heavier than this one. Like, this one feels more, like, sturdy inside compared to this official one. Yeah, I should have, honestly... Uh, spent more money on this these ones, but uh, at that point in my life I didn't have that much money, and now these are extremely expensive. So, um, but yeah, so thank you, Kay, for assisting. And Kanata. Okay, so the question is: the cap removable? I think it might be. Okay, so it is definitely a separate detail, which is a nice touch, and I actually think it. Damn, look at this! So the cap is removable. It is kind of like 
sewn in here probably for it to not get lost and i'm not gonna really like take it off i think uh but it is a very nice detail that kanata's cap is indeed removable and i hope i didn't mess up your uh pretty hairstyle too badly um but yeah so the cap is like i really like the detail here and it's a little hard to tell when you look at it like this, but they do have a correct hair color here. So, like, the green. Um, you can also look at... He also has his hood. Like, the real hood. But this is, I guess, also a tree feature for the real, Like, the original plush is too, like, okay, here, too. Has a hood. Um, but I believe Kanata's jacket should also be detachable. And let's take it off. And this is actually a simplified design compared to his, like, actual design. Uh, because this shirt doesn't have a pattern on it. And I know because I have a kind of the cosplay, so I have had a chance to take a good look at his clothes. Um, but otherwise, like, they even have a choker here. Like, it, it's a little hard to tell with how big the head is, but the choker is even there. And his medallion is there. And, yep. Um, and he ha this is what his jacket looks like. It's so tiny. So cute. Yep. Okay, Kanata, let's dress you up again. And I, this is it for the plushies. Let me just, as one last thing, show you uh, Kanata's like acrylic. So uh, I really like how this all was wrapped up, and I wonder if it's. Well, the pins are definitely wrapped up by the seller, I would imagine. So, um, not sure why the other proxy service had an issue with the seller. Because so far, I would say, like, the seller delivered exactly what they were asked for. Um, I did expect these plushes to be maybe a little bigger, but they did show a few pictures of them. So, there we go. So, there original and the copy uh which one is the original and which one is the copy is up for us to decide i guess and his jacket doesn't want to sit anymore now that i dragged it off and on um but i think those plushes are really nice like i'm still not sure if they're official or not but i when i bought them i thought it was a fan merch at least uh but now I'm like doubting it because the quality is really good and it even has like that sticker, uh, which like does mention Avex here. So I'm not sure anymore. Maybe it is official. Um, and this is another one. So yeah, um, I will actually be getting more of this in the future. I have already ordered them. And let's actually put Kanata and Alan together. And I don't have enough hands to hold them all. Yep, this is what this trio of plushes looks like. Um, I will be getting more of this in the future uh, because there's like was like a, this was like the first wave of plushes, and it was Bay Cosmos, and I think the cat's whiskers. I think the cat's whiskers. Yeah. Um. So out of them, I obviously got Cosmos and uh, Alan. To keep Kanata company. I don't know. Kanata and uh, Alan are such a famous player in Paradox Life. Uh, so, um, But other than that, well, it is what it is. Okay, so let's open the second box. And this one will actually have a 100% official merch. Uh, this is from my regular proxy service. And seems like I got a bang for my money because I also got some... Japanese newspapers. Um, I should give it to like a friend of mine who really likes reading Japanese newspapers, but uh, she, she really likes Japanese. She studies Japanese. <laughs> so maybe I should really give it to her. Uh, Gaza. Oh, Gaza. Mm, I guess this is a report on Gaza. Well, I think this is what it says. Oh. Well, I can't read Japanese past the Hiragana and Karagana, so can't really say anything okay so let's and it's unfortunately a little anticlimactic because i can immediately see a lot of those things 
And let's get started with like the one that decided the date for this shipping. Uh, because this is something I pre-ordered ages ago. Ages ago. And it's been just like this pre-order that's been sitting there and waiting for the day when it comes out. And you can probably already tell because this is not particularly uh, it's not particularly hard to see what it is. But it is indeed. Let me spoil this first. So this is a bonus I got for the pre-order itself. I can badge. And if you have not guessed it before, I showed you the bonus. Like you have definitely guessed it by now. It is the official Nendoroid of my favorite Twisted Wonderland character, Lilia. And it's wrapped in this nice, like, the kind of paper you see in, like, expensive stores. So, this is Lilia, and let me just quickly show you the box. I might do unboxing for him. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do unboxings for these. Like, it's not going to be anything particularly unique or new. But let's see. Um, So, he has his tomato juice. He has his bats. Um... Ah, oh, she's so cute. You know, like, I don't really... Like, I can't really say I'm a huge Nendoroid fan, normally. Uh, but there are characters who are definitely well-suited to be Nendoroids. And I thought Lilia is one of these. And it's actually interesting how it's, like, 2140th Nendoroid in existence. Like, imagine how many Nendoroids there have been. But yeah, um, I will unbox him later. Not gonna make this video longer. Um... Then it is. Uh, then... Okay, so now let's get to my, I guess, doll hobby. Um, which actually, maybe I should do an unboxing for one of these. I have, like, a lot of Ezone dolls. Um, but I don't think, believe I have ever done and, like, a proper unboxing for her. For them. And this is probably most likely a used doll. Uh, but it is the one I've been, like, kind of watching out for for a while now. And it is one of the Forest Series dolls, which are, like, some of the older Azones, but they are really good in terms of, like, what comes with them. Um, so the reason I got her is because she's wearing red. Red is my favorite color. So I've been, like, eyeballing her for a while. And it does say limited edition, so I guess the white one you can see in the back is the regular edition. So, But yeah, let's not dwell on her too much and move on to other things which you can probably tell like you, if you have seen my unboxing videos you know that it's probably cds uh, and let's check them out and i think the one i got is actually the first one i ordered which is nice and this is Tushinaga's last album which i mean i found the concept really interesting i have never actually Li listened much to Tayanaga's like own music, like outside of his character music. So I decided might as well just get this one. Well, to be fair, it did like was a little sad for me because he did not have like my favorite favorite characters in it. But I'm nonetheless interested to listen to. And I guess there is this little card which has this. Well, this is most likely printed rather than handwritten on every single one of them, but it's still a very cute little bromade with the naga -san. Oh, and by the way, to those who don't know who this guy is, um, it, it's this guy. So he's the voice of Nayuta and many, many other characters. Um, and he's a great, great singer. Who, like, I really like his singing voice. Uh, it, like, in character, like... This is why I was a little curious about this album, because this particular album, Character Answer, is basically him composing the songs, which are, like, the answer to his, the characters he played over the years. Um, so, you can see the track list here. Oh, yeah, and this is the edition you could only get, like, pre-ordering, by pre-ordering this uh, before. And I believe it, there's, like, a limit on it, like, 2,000 copies. And also, Tainaga is one of the... Probably very rare ones uh, who does. Um, basically, he is not signed with any label at the moment. He's his own label. 
And let's take a look at what's in this. So, like, we already saw a very nice bromid. Let's see what's inside. I bet it's more bromides. But it's actually interesting how, like, some of them are packaged and some other. Ah, okay, I know what it is. It's kind of like this little. Like, you can take a picture of yourself and then there's the Naga in front of you. I have seen those for, like, anime characters before. So, it's, it's kind of cute to see that in real life. Um, but yeah, so let's put this aside and get to the other stuff, which should be more anime. Although, I mean, it's it's a voice actor, so can't really say that's not anime. It's not just a voice actor, it's voice actor singing about his characters. So I guess it, you can say it's an anime thing in my book, but... um. And, as I mentioned before, this is, should be very heavily Paradox Life themed. So most of the other things are going to be Paradox Life. And, hello, pain. Um, this is, indeed, the thing I was just mentioning earlier, uh, which the anime is just about to hit this episode. Uh, and it is... Uh, this one is used. So one good thing about Paradox Life project, like any music project where fans can vote for something, so both like Paradox Life and Hypnosis Mike, um, is that you can get used CDs for pretty cheap because a lot of fans buy them in bulk to be able to like vote for their favorites more. So, but this one actually came with a little bonus. So this is the Love Badge. And it's in this interesting, like, case. I wonder if it's the case, like, if it was very original or if it's just the owner put something on it. No, probably it was very original, but it's the first time I see it, it's like a protective case for the badge. Which is very interesting. But it is indeed love. In my opinion, the best battle of the first season. Uh, probably still my favorite battle uh, overall. Um... Both like plot wise and music wise, like Mercy on Me and Ain't No Love are probably my favorite, some of my favorite songs from the respective groups. Um, but yeah, so this one has this little Paradox Life dope show, I guess that's a little ad. Um, but yeah, this is the CD with a little bonus. And I'm getting a lot of bonuses today, am I? Not? Am I? Um, okay, so let's take a look at. Stuff number two. And oh yeah, and the reason I got Paradox Life, I have been considering getting myself the Paradox Life music like CDs for a while. But Paradox Life is really good about putting their stuff on iTunes. So I normally didn't, but this time I was like, I kinda want revolution in physical. And then I was like, you know what? I might as well just go the rabbit down the rabbit hole. And um thankfully for me, I only bought the music itself from like the music platforms, so I did not buy the drama tracks. So now I can actually enjoy the drama tracks uh, and buying them online or buying them used in Japan was actually pretty similarly priced, I would say. So yeah, this is Showdown, which is the playoffs of the second season where like all the new groups were. And Saga is my favorite track and I am very excited for the plot, especially the plot involving um, Kei Miyama. And Revolution, obviously, is the brand new one. The, this battle is just now has, like, literally, like, yesterday they announced the results. So, this is Revolution. And they were being sold as... Well, I don't know. Let's take a look inside the this city. Which I do hope I don't run out of time on this. Because my... Okay, so, let's carefully take this out. And rotate. And this is like very mad. So, and this just opens up like this. Oh, that's very nice. I really like the cover inside. These are both Yasha and Shura with all the little cards. Yeah, it was actually kind of worth it buying the CDs. Just look at them. They're so pretty. I mean, obviously, like shipping from Japan I ain't cheap, but I was ever shipping stuff from Japan either way. So, but damn, this is such a pretty cover. Like, you could even probably display it like this. Ha! Don't fall. And the disc decided it doesn't like me. 
Well, since the disc decided it doesn't like me. Uh, this is what behind the disc looks like. Let's assume. Damn, this box is so cool. Damn, I, I need to buy, like, I guess I will start buying physical products like discs now. Well, at least the ones I really like. Uh, which Showdown was one of them, because Inmate is one of my favorite groups. Like, hey. Um, and, yeah. Well, this was Showdown. Let's take a look at Revolution. I'm just kind of curious now. Let's see what's inside. I don't know. Should I unbox Love? Eh, maybe I should just do a big video later so i won't really inflate this one but just do my like review of all the paradox live cds i have evolution is actually a little simpler than showdown showdown was kind of kind of more fancy ah but i must say that the back of this is like a paper and this is what you actually i guess they are the same oh there's like some extra information but yeah. Hmm. Interesting that showdown was a fancier box and this, but uh let's get to the next one. So I probably won't be opening this ones. Uh, if someone ever wants, I can just do a review of the discs I have, but yep, more paradox like albums, more um so this is oh yeah it's it also comes with a bonus disc which i believe has the cast messages which i'm pretty excited about i really like paradox like cast well okay <clears throat> play naga um uh but so this is the first album trap this is the second album live and also trap you can look from both sides um so this art was for, I believe, the first anniversary got those arts. Uh, then Life, which is the end of the first season album. And there is this bonus CD, which you could get if you ordered the live album. Pre-ordered live album for a specific one. And it is it is what it is. It's um, like just bonus comments. It was the reason I got that bundle. But yeah, let's see. Okay, something be oh yeah, 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 some exciting things. Um okay, so first let's let's finish with Paradox Life albums. Um Do I even remember what all of these are? Let me just be careful about opening this. Okay, so more Paradox Life albums. Um let's see. Uh, okay, so this is the Akan Yatsura albums, actually. So there's, like, an Akan Yatsura fan who was like, let me sell my collection off. So this is, like, the... This is not A4. This is probably, like, A2, uh, whatever, A5 format. But this is, like, the little case for your papers. So this is the thing number one. Um, then... This is Family, which probably was the reason I got this in the first... Well, I mean, okay, some part, big part of the reason I got this is Family, because, again, Cosmos are my bias. Um, so, this is Family, uh, which actually the, a the episode just aired for Family, like, two episodes ago. It has, like, a can badge for uh, the other city in here, which is... should just go in order. Justice. So... Um, Justice is and the can badge for it. I really am collecting a lot of Paradox Life can badges and just a lot of can badges in general. I should like find where to put them on. And this is probably the more exciting part for me, which is the can badge for family. Just look at them, look at my cosmos. Such a beauty art, and I think the artist commented that was what that was one of like the first arts where the everyone was put in like environment kind of thing. So I remember when the episode aired, they were recalling this, and this is a little bromine, I guess. Oh, I guess this is like a little message from a Kanyatsura. Let's see. Well, I will take a look at it later, probably. Um. 
And finally, but uh, the last but not the least, definitely, excitement-wise, for like showing something on camera, these are the acrylics stuff I got off of, well, uh, the official store. And I got this in anticipation that they will announce more um, more uh, for the new groups. Um, so, um, yeah, I was like, you know, I have three groups I really like in Paradox Life. And I already have Cosmos stands from this series. Which I think these are like some of the most beautiful arts in Paradox Life. Paradox Life release, like the most beautiful series of arts. And you could probably guess this is the Panta Metal. This one is Yasha. No, that's true. Of course it's Shura. I'm stupid. Um, so, there is Shura. Which, you know, when those released, and I, I looked at them and I was like, hey, I might just scare. But then, even a year later, they're still in stock. I am surprised. I think this should have been out of stock a long time ago. But, there we go, there is the second one, which, I mean, take a very wild guess as to who this second acrylic, which is the same size, is. Wow. Second acrylic. Ah, it will be hard to find space for them, but, of course, this is, this is Yasha. Ah, oh, those dragons are so pretty. No, I, I do not regret getting this in the end. Because I got this because I was like, okay, they will announce more, like, this anniversary. And then I can just put all my biases on. But then, like, without Boraikon, it wouldn't be complete. And then I saw Boraikon are still available. And I was like, yeah, let me get Boraikon. Yeah, they did not announce the arts for the new groups yet. I guess we still have to wait, like, another year. Um, But, and this is the last little thing. And, like I said before, it's all acrylics. So, um, when I was, like, buying albums, uh, or more like, when I was originally planning to buy albums, I was very inclined to actually buy probably, like, my favorite album of the second season, which was, indeed, um, Trust. But then I realized that I already bought all the drama tracks online and I was like, you know, my favorite art is not even on the cover. And then I decided that I will get a different way of representing the uh, Trust album. And this is an absolutely gorgeous art of Kanata, which is probably one of my favorite arts of Kanata. And uh, he's actually probably like on the inside of the Trust album, so... That's why I ended up not getting that one, but this is like an acrylic block, which is an interesting concept. Um, but nonetheless, this will this is what will be representing trust from me. And this is actually much smaller than I expected it to be, like compared to my hand. Uh, like this is pretty small, but um, but yeah, nonetheless, paradox art, paradox life art is so beautiful. Like probably a huge reason why I like the project in the first place. But yeah, this is it for this unboxing. This was the last item, and there is a lot of items I have, which I will need to go through and find places for them on the shelves and not on the shelves. And, uh, but yeah, this was very Paradox Life themed. I mean, even the Tainaga album is kind of Paradox Life. Well, it's not really Paradox Life themed, but it's Tainaga, so Tainaga is in Paradox Life of all things. Um, I wonder if I'll have a similar merch haul with Dear Mocha List one day and get myself some Momochi acrylics. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well. That's from the future me. Um, but yeah, thank you for chiming in and hopefully this was fun? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, like, watch Paradox Life Animation. Like, trust me, this episode, like, like this episode better be good. Like, for future self, like, I am excited. I am terrified and excited because one of the strongest scenes in Paradox Life is going to be animated in here. And I'm like, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Well, exciting. But yeah, this is it. So thank you for chiming in and hope you enjoy your day, the evening, the morning, whatever it is, whenever you watch this video.